Hey there, I'm XPI Sigma. I'm a digital artist who just loves technology. I've been daily driving the XP Pen Artist Pro 16 Gen 1 for almost a month now. It was released in 2021 and basically promised a much better pen performance compared to the previous, such as the Artist 15.6 Pro. First impressions during my unboxing were really good. Watch that if you'd like an information dump along with watching a grown man having trouble opening a box. With that being said, let's dive into my experience with the Pro 16 Gen 1, find out why I now prefer it over my Cintiq 16, and answer the big question. Is it worth it in 2024? Coming from the Cintiq 16, the screen automatically is an immediate improvement. There is zero parallax. That's the distance between the pen tip and the actual display. Obviously, that's a pretty big plus. Right down to color accuracy, it's very nice. I found myself not having to color correct during the post-processing phase of my work. Initially, I did need to tweak my grays a bit using my NVIDIA display settings, but that's hardly a problem. That's honestly something I would recommend for literally any monitor. You could also use your Windows display settings to adjust your colors. Other than that though, the color calibration was pretty good right out of the box. Speaking of Windows, this device is also compatible with Mac OS, Linux, and Chromebook. However, you won't get the macro software on the Chromebook. The customizability that comes with the driver software isn't bad. It has everything I'd think someone would need when they're setting hotkeys. You also could set custom keys for different programs. Always a nice feature. I personally stick with my keyboard for all my hotkey needs, but having buttons is great for those with limited desk space. They don't have room for a big old keyboard to the left or whatever. Hotkeys for what you ask? Well, there's eight buttons on the side and a dual dial. The buttons have a slightly tactile bump, no clickiness though. The dual wheel has a silver physical knob which is completely linear. No click, no tactility. The inner part of the dual dial is touch. It is pretty responsive, however, I don't think I'll be using them personally. I already have a dial on my keyboard, and my keyboard in general has all the hotkeys I need anyway. One of my favorite uses for a dial, set one direction to be something like Control-Z, and the other direction to be Control-Y. That way, you're kind of just dialing through time as you're drawing, so you could undo and redo just at the touch of a dial. Onto the device itself. It's super thin. It's basically smartphone thinness. It's pretty crazy. The matte finish and vibrant screen really make this thing look good. On the back though, there is a negative. There's no sort of Visa mount or any sort of mounting bracket in general, like the Cintiq 16 has. So this does mean you will have to use one of those generic tablet stands with it. I'm personally using a Parblo stand. But if I needed to be more mobile, let's say throw this thing in a backpack, I would be using XP Pen's metal stand because it actually folds to be really thin. So XP Pen did not provide me with the Pro 16 Gen 1, however, they were kind enough to supply me with affiliate links. If you're interested in purchasing, please do so with the links in the video description if you'd like to help out the channel. If you do like this kind of content from me, uh, go ahead and like the video and subscribe if you'd like. Thank you. If you're into that art that you've been seeing in the background, you could check out my social media. Check out constructcoreworks.com for the full list, but I'm most active on Twitter. I won't ever call it X. Ever. Really. Really, that's, that's stupid. Come on. Let's talk about the pen. First off, which of these pens looks more premium to you? The previous XP pen has a nice big grip, two buttons, and no eraser. The X3 Elite Plus that you get with the 16 has no grip, two buttons, and an eraser. During my unboxing, I was a little concerned how comfortable drawing would be without the grip. To my surprise, I didn't miss the grip at all, but don't get me wrong, a grip is still a nice to have. In my Artist 15.6 Pro video, 
I mentioned how the pen tip wouldn't line up with the cursor correctly whenever you tilted it and stuff like that. The Elite Plus is definitely an improvement. Not as perfect as a Samsung S Pen or a Wacom Stylus, but it's still a great improvement regardless. But more on that later. With all that being said, the pen feels great and draws great. The lines don't have any of the weird tapering that you'd see on a budget device, and if there is wobble, I surely haven't seen it yet. Both sketching and line art has been a great experience. And to be honest, I don't think I'm going back to my Cintiq 16 anytime soon. Let's talk about that. Being both from Wacom and of course having a similar active area, it's a direct competitor to the 16 Pro. The Cintiq 16 costs about 600 bucks USD refurbished and 800 USD new. The Pro 16 Gen 1 was about 315 USD on sale. With that being said, the Pro 16 is considerably more bang for your buck. Here's the way I see it. The Cintiq 16 gets you a better pen, but an inferior screen. With quite a large gap between the pen and the display, the parallax isn't the best, especially compared to the essentially zero parallax of the Artist 16 Pro. The color accuracy on the Cintiq isn't bad, don't get me wrong, but it's not perfect. The XP Pen definitely beat it there. And if you're into buttons, well, you don't get that on the Cintiq 16, but you got that here on the XP Pen. When it comes to mounts, yeah, you do get that certain visa bracket with that Cintiq 16. But when you compare them, the Cintiq honestly is a big chonker. It's a big one. It's a very similar width, but we're talking about how deep it goes, and it is a thick boy. But if you have room on your desk, that doesn't matter. But I still feel like I need to mention it. Here's everything just kind of stacked up nicely in a little table. Sacrifice just a tiny bit of the pen, and you get yourself a slightly better overall experience. You just get so much more with the Pro 16 Gen 1. We can't even forget that the Cintiq 16 came out in 2019, where this XP pen came out in 2021. Alone, it's kind of amazing the Cintiq 16's holding up this much and still to this day being sold full price. Which, there could be cases for it. I'm still all cool with the Cintiq 16. I think it's a great device. But with a device that costs essentially less than half new, it really kind of makes you think. To each their own, of course, but I'll be sticking with the Pro 16 until I get my QHD 120Hz Dream Tablet. One of these days. Thank you, though, to Wacom for giving me a great baseline to judge my experiences on. But I'm very satisfied with the Artist Pro 16 Gen 1, and I'm sure you would be too. Now this needs to be said, of course. If you already own a Cintiq 16, this is not a purchase for you. You're not really getting an upgrade. You're basically... You'd essentially just be improving your device, adding buttons, stuff like that, and slightly downgrading your pen. But if you are in the market for something new, maybe you're graduating from a regular slab tablet or a smaller tablet or whatever. If your budget's around 300 USD, I think this is a great buy. So yeah, I do think it's worth it in 2024. Thanks for watching till the end. I hope my little bit of insight helped out, and as always, please throw any questions in the comment section. Oh yeah, and don't forget to keep kicking butt. Bye. But yeah, I'm like, what the heck? This this Cintiq came out in freaking 20, 2019? What what is that? What does that mean? How how did it stay this relevant for this long? Why isn't Wacom upgrading stuff? I mean, I know the one in 2019 was like a version two of the previous Cintiq 16, but like you need to give us something more akin to the Cintiq 16 Pro. Just not be a thousand dollars. That's all you gotta do, Wacom.
you're you're letting XP pen like overtake you with these <laughs> these deals. Like, come on, what are you doing? I, I just keep yapping. I'm yapping. You see all those videos up there? Those are my old ones. You could you could click them if you want. It's not like I care or anything like that. Thank you.